G'day legends, welcome back to another Friday install. Drop the ready. Now, today we have a cracker for you. So, for a long time now, the next gen Ranger, a lot of the new cars, you've been sort of getting your, your UHF mounted up. So, we'll get the XRS 330 out. XRS Connect, absolutely good little unit. Now, for ages, you know, you get your little spot here and you can plug it in. Doink! Yeah! Yarn to the boys. Ah, where do I put it now? I just drop it in there. Bloody falls down here, ends up over there, like this ends up everywhere, right? Now, we have a solution for you. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to install that bracket that mounts it right there. Nice and tidy in the Next Gen Ranger. So it's very, very simple. Actually, Next Gen Ranger, Everest, Raptor, I think nearly all of them, it's gonna be the same. But hey, XLS, the works. So you got a car, it's got one of these. Doesn't even matter if it's a GME one, can be Uniden, can be a bloody, what's the other one? You know the other brand. <laughs> what is it? Oh, Oricom. Could be Oricom, you know. Any of them, we can we can make this work. So for today's install, very simple one. Oh, by the way, happy Easter legends. Look at me bunnies. Woo! <laughs> now look, just on a side note, I learned in the last install we just done. I don't know how girls with long hair and dudes with mullets can actually deal with this. This is like, this is always in the way. <laughs> could like tie it up as a top knot. <laughs> Anyway, so first thing we need is a beer because it's bloody hot in this bunny suit. Cheers, legends. Hydration. Hydration is important through all of these installs. Don't let anyone tell you any different. Go to work and you look up the safety thing. Hydration is number one. So today we're going to thank the old Larrys for that. Now, we're not affiliated to these guys at all. We just thought we'd give the Larry a go. Not too bad. Not a bad drop. Now, hydration. Very important. So, what else we need? Like a little plastic pulling tool. You don't really need a mad plastic pulling tool. You can, I can get in there with my fingers kind of thing as well. But this is something you don't want to damage a dash with. Just put that one up there. Eight mil ratchet. I use the old electric one because I'm lazy. Milwaukee Power is the best. Now, if Milwaukee would sponsor us, or King Chrome, or SP, any of them, that would be really good because we get a big badass toolbox for these installs instead of having all random stuff. I've got SP sockets. Milwaukee gear. Wait, and I think this is a King Chrome one here. King Chrome adapter, SP in Milwaukee. We're hybrids. Righto. Now, throw this box the other way. Don't need that for now. We also don't need this. These are our two brackets, which you'll get in the kit. Two little brackets, and you have some bolts, which I've just dropped. Get that out of the way. Not that one. I've got some bolts, which I've dropped in here anyway. Got some little bolts and nuts there. Missing a nut, but it's down there to bolt it together. So first step is you want, you want to be grabbing, this is the first part of the bracket we install. We pull the dash out, nice nifty little bracket. So let's get started guys. Jump in here. We'll be beautiful little bunnies. So first thing we want to do is we've got to get this section of the dash down. So yesterday we were just digging in. You feel there's a bit of a lip there. So I just put my fingers in and then pull on it and it comes out. Now, then under this one here, put your fingers under, you feel under here is a lip, fingers under there, pull that bit out. Now this is the tricky part. So in here, you see there's a bloody, another little clip, pulled it up, actually pulled out easily for me today. That was nice of it. Which bit have I got wrong here? And this bit comes out. So just kind of got to work this. Now there's one more clip. I think we, oh, there it is there. That's right. That's right. And then pull that out like that. So what you got here is see, you gotta give, give it all a bit of a pull and get the whole thing out. Now see this metal clip here? You gotta get that bit off and it's a bit of a pain. So what I did yesterday is I got this to try and release those clips like that. And then we get this bit out, pull him out, Just throw him up here out the way. Now, We'll get this light in here so you can see it with the camera. See, we've got a bolt here and a bolt down there. Right, so we're going to back this one off a little bit and we'll take this one completely out. And you'll see, so the bracket goes in this way. See, see here we've got this little slot. So we'll just drop that in that bottom bolt when we back it off. So we're going to get our little bit, of, a little bit of love here. Make sure it's on lefty loosey. The bottom one. Back that one off. I'm going to pull this one 
Um, coming up. Wait, did I not get the eight? What have I done here? Oh man, I've got the wrong bloody socket. <laughs> no, God, it's hot in this thing. So it's actually a seven mil. I thought it was an eight. It's actually a seven. Oh, you're joking. Oh, why me? All right, <laughs> we've run into a bit of a problem. To get that screw out, it's actually a really big job. It's gonna pull like all this out. Going in deep. Right now, legends. So, after <laughs> after a solid, uh, I'm gonna go 12 minutes of butchering the dash. As you can see, I've pulled everything off. I've managed to get into here and I've found it! I've bloody got him back. Have a go at him. <laughs> I'm so stoked. Okay, I need a beer. Then we need to put this bloody thing back together. Mm. Now, those of you that know me, actually well, long before this pirate idea, whenever I have a beer, I just go stupid. I can be really good at everything and I have a beer and I'm good at nothing. <laughs> it's terrible. Righto, exhibit A. Righto, so after all that debacle, we're back. We are back. <clears throat> I swear it's easier than this. You don't normally drop bolts. So, what we're gonna do is grab our, this little one here. So pull this bolt back out. Come out, righto. So, <clears throat> we've already backed that one off down the bottom. So slot just slides over that. Goes over him, and this one goes in there. Put the bolts in the top. Do him up. Yeah, we're doing the right way. Then we'll just get them both even before you go to town. Right, eh? So they're done up. <coughs> Now we've got to go and do, put this bit back on first. So we get our brake control. So if you don't have the touring pack, you obviously won't have this. So you won't have to undo that. Um, but if you do, you will. Now the part here is, put this the right way. Nope, I do not. This is the correct way, this way. So we've got to get this sitting back in, as well as this bit. So that metal bit we took off earlier, just need to clip that one back on. So it's clipped on first. And then it all just pushes back in pretty easy. Everything kind of pushes back in. So now we've done that. We get this one. We get our two bolts. The two bolts from earlier I was talking about. And this goes on this way. Slots go on like that. Bolt head down, and bolt head down. And this goes underneath that one. And we just gotta push this plastic back, like so. And bolt head underneath. I mean, nut underneath. Pretty sure it's 7mm socket. 7mm. Beautiful, and then all we need to do now, you can see that's a nice little beautiful piece, is grab our... Right, so we've got a screwdriver, we'll get a bit here. So, what we do, very, very simple, screw in the hole, get him in there, put this one in too actually, get them started. Line them up with the holes on there. You can use bolt screws, whatever. Let me screw them in. Probably better off using some bolts, which we will supply. We will supply some bolts for this, but I'll put screws in there because, well, gee, I'm sweating, eh? Sweat like a pig. So, uh, yeah, I don't have the bolts. So, put them in with screws, but you will be supplied with bolts. Now, this is the best part. This is the best bloody part. 
Let's give this one a fire up. When it's ready. Anytime you want to start, mate. There we go. Right. We're on. Here's the best part. Let's find a channel. We got channel 40. We'll get a radio check. G'day, legends. Can we get a radio check, please? And then... Oh, look at that. Thanks, legend. Boom. How easy is that? Look at that. Tuck that away there. Yeah, g'day, mate. Break a break. Yep, g'day. Yep, where's the Easter bunny, right? Boom. It's right here. Bang. Happy days. Cruise along. Yeah, hey, mate. How you going? Yep, beautiful. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get to that. Cause... Do it again. <laughs> Yeah, get out, mate. Beautiful. See that? That easy. Now, there's someone to hang your bloody UHF. Look at that. It's there. It's out of the way. It's amazing. Now, look, legends. Happy bloody Easter. Thanks so much for the support. We just hit a major milestone with sales that we're pretty wrapped with. Now, we've just clicked over 2,500 sales in the first six months. We are absolutely blown away. Thanks so much for the support. Get amongst it. UHF handpiece mount and the one behind the glove box for the XRS Connect. Get it, Marks, you know where it is. Down here, up there, on the sides, wherever. We'll see you on the next one, legends, you. Oh, but wait, there's more. I forgot something. Don't forget Pirate Piss Takes. Now, if you do exactly what I just did then, drop a, drop a bolt, whatever, make sure you film it. Just give us like little skimmicks of it. Even if it's like, oh, I dropped the bolt and you fumbled it. We want to see it, because I want to make mashups, monthly mashups, and whoever does the best one, they're going to get a $500 gift voucher on our online store. Well, right legends, we'll see you next week.